Hey guys, thank you for checking out this video tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing you how to view Hulu.com, MTV.com, and some other sites that allow you to watch full-length TV shows and movies for free. But um, for some websites, Hulu.com and MTV both have uh, the TV shows have the copyrights, which do not allow them to be played outside of the U.S. or the U.K. and stuff like that. For me, I live in Canada, so I'm not allowed to view them. As you can see here, I'll go to Hulu, try and watch the 100th episode of Family Guy, and it'll give me the error that I'm not inside the U.S. or that, see, sorry. So what we have to do is go to hotspotshield.com and click download the latest version. What Hotspot Shield does, it makes a private, a virtual private network between your laptop, iPhone, and your internet gateway and it prevents uh, snoopers, hackers from viewing your instant messages, credit card information, anything sent over the network. So basically, it's just, yeah, just a program that prevents hackers and stuff from going onto your network and snooping around. But it basically does the exact same thing, so it's telling the internet that I do not live in Canada anymore, I live in the US or wherever the IP is set. So what you have to do is download it, once you get it, extract the zip file and then install it. I'm not going to download it because I already have it. So, so you want to open it up. And I'm going to launch it. As soon as it launches, you'll find a tray icon in the bottom right corner of your screen, the desktop tray, or the screen, and it'll be automatically connecting. If not, you right click on it and go connect. From there, oh, a new internet browser will open, your default internet browser, which mine is Mozilla Firefox. It will go through all the states of uh, acquiring all the IP addresses and all that, and eventually it will connect. Mine just disconnected. So I have to sign in the IP address. Connected. All right. So now, if I go to Hulu.com, oops, Hulu.com. Click the 100th episode. One downside of it is an ad will appear, but you can just click the little X and it'll get rid of the ad. And now it's going to actually load the video so I can actually watch it. So thanks for watching this video. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe.